Hey guys, welcome to Redneck Off The Range. Today I want to do a 50 hour review of the Toro Z Master 2000. This is a commercial grade zero turn lawnmower. This is a 2020 model and it was picked out by my father to cut the grass at our family's farm. This farm has been in our family since 1974 and it is about 30 acres of land and in fact let me just show you what the land looks like and how much grass we actually cut out here. So we're sitting on about 30 acres here. About half of it is woods. We have a three acre lake down there and then about half of whatever's left is what we actually cut. So as you can see here there's some tall grass and some trees that need to be you know cut down but you know about half of what's left is what we cut. So you're talking uh, four, five, maybe six acres of land that gets cut total and that's you know this big field over here and around around the house and the barn and then up the driveway. So as you can see, we have quite a bit of grass that gets cut out here. And the reason we went with a zero turn lawnmower is because for years and years, ever since my grandparents first bought this property, the grass has been cut by small lawn tractors. Um, before this, we had two John Deere's. In fact, we still have them there in the barn over there. Um, we had two John Deere's and at one point in time, we actually had three. And even before that, we had like some Murray's and maybe some Craftsman and other brands um, of lawn tractors out here that have come and gone. And uh, most of them were like, you know, 48 inches, 42 inches. And they were mostly cheaper models because my grandfather was a very cheap man and didn't believe in spending a whole lot of money to on anything really. Um, if you, you know, saw the truck that he drove or, or the lawnmower that he had at his house or anything, you know, he didn't really believe in spending a lot of money. And this is just a lot of grass for oftentimes only one lawn tractor, one person, one lawn tractor doing all this grass. That's a lot of grass to cut. And especially with the ones that we had, you know, they just weren't reliable. And I'm not trying to knock John Deere or Murray or any of the other brands of lawn tractors that we've had out here, but you know, they were older models, they were cheaper models. So they weren't designed to cut this much grass on a weekly basis. They were never maintained. My grandfather never maintained anything. He never did oil changes or, or greased anything, um, changed any air filters. He never did any of that. And so because of all these factors, they just, they broke down a lot and they just were not reliable. So one time after my dad was out here by himself and both John Deere lawn tractors that we had at the time, both of them broke down and I had to come out here and help him get them in the barn. And after that, he just decided enough was enough. He needed a zero turn lawnmower, something with a bigger cutting deck. And he did his research. He looked at uh, John Deere's, Cup Cadets, and Toro's. And I'm not sure if he looked at anything else like, like Kubota's or anything. But um, he looked at many different brands, many different models, and he just kind of came up with a list of things that he wanted. He wanted a roll bar. He wanted a 60 inch deck. And he wanted a nice seat that was comfy uh, for when he was going through the fields. He wanted all these things and he eventually decided on the Toro uh, Z Master 2000 with a 60 inch deck and that is what we have here. Um, like I said, this is a 2020 model and we are right at 51.1 hours. So just over 50 hours. I just got done cutting the grass uh, before it was like 48, 49 hours. And so, um, We've had it for about a season and a half so far. And anyway, I think my father did a very fantastic job getting this machine. This is a fantastic machine. Um, and the only other zero turn that I have any sort of experience with is a Cub Cadet. And it's, you know, a cheaper model Cub Cadet. And there's my girlfriend's father's. Um, and it breaks down quite a bit. So far, we've not had any problems with this one, fingers crossed. Um, you know, eventually you're gonna have some sort of problem with anything mechanical. Um, something's gonna go wrong eventually, but that's just kind of life. Um, the beauty of a zero turn lawnmower is you can get a lot of grass cut 
and not a lot of time. And the reason for that is, so think about having a lawn tractor and cutting this massive field over here. Um, you're pretty much, you, you just keep going around and around and around. Whereas this, you can go around uh, a big chunk of land for one, maybe two passes, and then you can go down and back and just keep going you know, down one side and then turning 180 degrees and coming back. And that is much more efficient, plus you have a bigger cutting surface in general. So compared to a John Deere with a uh, 48 inch or even a 42 inch deck, um, which are quite a bit smaller than this, uh, this cuts grass so much faster. And you have so much more control with this. Um, you can get in really close to like small trees and small obstacles, excuse me, um, and you can get in really close, whereas with a lawn tractor you have a big turning radius and you might have to go around that same little bitty tree many times in order to actually get all the grass cut around it. So that is another nice thing about a zero turn lawnmower. And I'll be honest, at first I really wasn't sure if I wanted a zero turn because a lawn, I was so used to lawn tractors and lawn tractors are more like driving a car, a zero turn is more like driving a skid steer. You know, you have independent sides and um, you know you can go forward and back on one side and you can literally turn it in a circle that's why it's called a zero turn because there is no turning radius on this essentially um, you can just take the joysticks go opposite of each other and turn in a circle and uh, so that gives you a lot of control however that amount of control um, it, it can cause you problems in that you can, if you get stuck in this thing you're stuck and you know we've gotten this thing stuck many times especially you know if if the ground is a little wet and mushy, um, if you get one side stuck, you're pretty much stuck going in a circle because on a zero turn, your turning wheels and your pulling wheels are the same wheels, whereas a lawn tractor or anything else with with four wheels and and the uh, the turning wheels are different than the pulling wheels. Um, you can just turn your wheels and then go at it at a little bit different angle and go backwards and forwards and um, with this, you can't really do that. If you get stuck, one wheel is gonna spin, the other wheel is just gonna take you in a circle. And if you're like me, and you're cutting right on the edge of a lake, and you get stuck, you're, you're stuck. I mean, you gotta get off and either have somebody else pull you out or pull yourself out with another vehicle. Um, otherwise, you're gonna go right in the water. And I, I did that once. I did not put it in the water, but I got really close to it. And so that's one thing you wanna keep in mind when buying a zero turn mower and deciding if this is for you, um, you need to take that in, into consideration. So yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can really say about this thing. Um, it's It's been a really good machine. Again, it's only been about 50 hours. Um, haven't really had any problems with it but um, you will see you know, as time goes on. So um, before I go, I wanna show you all the features of this and just kind of uh, show you what all this thing has to offer. So starting from the back, you have a Toro engine, you have your air filter right there, your battery right there, your oil fill and check, and then to change the oil, it's actually a um, you just pull this little little hose out here. There is no drain plug, uh, so that's kind of nice. You just pull that hose out and then put it into like a little cup or something, and uh, that's how you drain the oil. Have some pretty nice big tires here, turf tires, and of course you have your nice big caster wheels up here, which are air filled. You have the deck right here, 60 inch deck, and the uh, little diverter chute thing. We always keep ours up. Uh, just makes it easier to go around obstacles because we got a lot of trees and stuff uh, that we have to go around. So it's always nice to have uh, that up, up and out of the way. This little pedal here is for uh, lifting up the deck, which the deck is lifted right now just locks into place. And then this little knob over here is to release the deck. So you just push the little pedal down, pull that up, and then the deck will drop. This little uh, panel here is for your blades. Um, the blade height, you just pull this little pin out 
and put it wherever you want. We always keep it on three, but you can go anywhere from one to uh, five, uh, one to five, I guess. Um, but you have all the different, you know, quarter increments there. So that's kind of cool. It has a really nice um, suspension seat and then it's adjustable. So this little knob down here is for adjusting it. We come back over here. You have your choke, you just pull this out for choke, your throttle, you have your hour meter here. As you can see, we're a little over 50 hours. Got your key here, and then of course your PTO. One thing about the PTO is it's gotta be turned off in order to turn it on, so if you run out of gas while you're cutting, you gotta make sure you turn the PTO off, otherwise you won't be able to start your engine once you put the gas back in. I've learned that many, many times. I, I always forget to turn the PTO off. Um, you got your roll bar or your ROPS right here, and it does, uh, they do fold down, so you have these little knobs here. They just pull out and turn, and then you can pull the whole ROPS down. You have your gas tank fill right here. Nice big opening, so that's nice. Uh, you got a cup holder there and just some different storage compartments for whatever. Um, you have your parking brake here, so in order to turn on the mower, you have to have the parking brake engaged, and then in order to go, you have to release the brake by pushing down, and then you pull, then you pull your joysticks up. And then, obviously it's dirty right now because I just got done cutting the grass, but you have your little um, guards here for your pulleys and everything. You got your little uh, guide wheels there. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Just a really nice mower. So anyway, that is the Toro Z Master 2000 with a 60 inch deck. I definitely think it is an awesome machine and I think my dad did a very nice job picking it out. So I definitely recommend this. If you're looking for a zero turn mower, uh, check out the Toro Z Master or really any of the Toro lineup, I guess. But uh, this particular one is more of a commercial grade mower and I think it suits our needs well. So anyway, that's all for that video. Subscribe to my channel and until next time, be safe. Oh yeah, one other feature I forgot to mention about this mower is that it came with this jack that you can just pin on the front end and then you can flip it up like that and just crank it away. And it lifts up the front end. Just like a trailer. How freaking cool is that? Now, I don't know if all Toros have this as an option, but the Z Master 2000 sure does have it as an option. I'm also not sure how many other brands offer that, but uh, it's just a really cool option and definitely makes life easier for maintaining the front caster wheels.